Hello and welcome back to Excel Mind. In today's video we'll see how we can add multiple checkboxes with click result in separate cells. Which means if the box is checked then result in the followed cell will be true and if the box is unchecked then result in the followed cell will be false. So let me show you how, how it works. You can see whenever I check the box the result changed to true and if I uncheck it give me result false. And you can create this in just less than 5 minutes. You can do this by clicking option, but it will take ages so to make it quicker we can do this by VBA. Let me show you the code. We have added the code under module you can get this from our blog. Link added in description of the video. So, let's start our tutorial. We have blank sheet ready where we will create multiple checkboxes. Let us name our column. Checkbox, and, result. We'll have our checkbox under A column, and result under B. To create checkbox, go to, Developer tab. Then insert, under Forms Control. Click on checkbox option. Then come to the desired cell where checkbox need to be created and by clicking right click create the box. You can change the name or if not needed deleted it by backspace. Now we need our checkbox under all the below cell. To add that click on the check make sure you select cell and not box. And copy that cell. Then select the rest of the cells, and paste it. Your multiple checkboxes are ready you can see it will not give result even you click it, and to get the result we need to add the code to it. And to add the code we need to go to developer tab. Then click visual basic option. New window will pop up. Under that click on workbook, and go to insert option on top, and click module. Your module has been created, now clear everything under it before we add code. To get the code go to our blog. Link has been shared under description of video. Now copy the entire code. Once copied, come back to Excel Visual Basic screen, and paste it under Module. Now let me explain you what we have written. So, this too from where your result should start, so our first checkbox on second line so result should start from second line. And, B, means we want our result, under B, column. If we want our result under, C then you should type C instead of B. Now once you done with code, hit the play button at top to run it. Your code has been activated once you click play. Let's see whether it is working. Do go back to Excel click Excel box at top right. You can see result has been added, as every box is unchecked so it's false and once you click it will change to true. Now even if you delete the cell or clear, it will still work once you click the box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe Excel Mind for more such tutorial.